What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about Dragon Age 4. Our good old friend Jeff Grubb struck again, claiming that the game is still uh, lined up to release in 2023, and that it's been that way for at least a little while, and that's that, that the game is going to release in 2023. So, I, I don't remember if I said this in the video we just had uh, up on Dead Space, or if it goes up in the video tomorrow where I did another video on Dead Space, but I actually did predict this in a video where I recorded it, uh, you know, before all this stuff happened. I think it makes complete sense. Uh, we've talked about it a lot where I think 2022 would be a year that you see the game a ton, and then 2023, it would come out. And I predicted that pretty recently, and then Jeff Grubb literally said, sources say Dragon Age 4 is expected to launch in 2023. We'll probably start hearing about it a lot more in 2022. And I do think this, this qualifies as a game that you probably would have quite a long lead up to. And by that, I mean, like, you hear about it, you see a bunch of it for quite a while before the game actually comes out. Maybe a year, maybe slightly less than a year. Honestly, it's something that I kind of want to see for Hogwarts, for Gotham Knights, those kind of things where you see quite a bit of it uh, for the year leading into it. So that's very exciting. Uh, I loved Inquisition quite a bit. You know, uh, I I'm excited for Dragon Age 4. You remember that this is going to be pretty much a, like a, an actual Dragon Age game. The people that were worried that, you know, EA would do some EA stuff with it. You may have had, uh, like, reason to worry, but remember, with the success of several of their, their last string of successes, they decided to kind of axe. Remember, because I think Dragon Age was originally going to be kind of half and half or very, very much have multiplayer elements in it, and rumor is that EA kind of, you know, abandoned that idea and said you don't have to do that once other games started succeeding that also were single player. So that's very good. Now, does that mean that this upcoming Dragon Age game wouldn't have multiplayer? No, it probably will have some sort of multiplayer aspect to it, but it won't be like a live service, you know, won't be something that's updated over time, and it's a game built from the ground up, it's a story game that has a beginning, middle, and end, right? All very exciting, and honestly, this makes me very excited for not just Dragon Age, but for Mass Effect, right? That I think Mass Effect, sure, could they mess it up? Of course they could, you know, Andromeda, I know people are kind of coming around to it now, but I think overall Mass Effect Andromeda, at least in my opinion, was not very good, and maybe people will have something to say against that I'm sorry if I if I disrespect your your opinions but uh, I, I personally didn't like it very much at all so it's not to say that the story or things like that would fall flat or could or could not fall flat in Dragon Age 4 also this releasing in 23 uh, you know 2023 hopefully not delayed right but say it does what does that mean for Mass Effect 4? I would jump to 2025. I saw some people say maybe 2026. Uh, there are different teams making it. It's not the same team making it, but that's just something to, to kind of think about as well. So very exciting. EA has been doing pretty okay recently. They, they've had things where you can oh, maybe not root for them, but you know you have Activision Blizzard over there just doing the worst things possible. You have Ubisoft doing the worst things possible. I really don't know if you can say EA is the worst company out there. I feel like there's many other their options to kind of take that mantle up. So 2023, not that much. I mean, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I personally wouldn't say it's all that much longer. I think the older you get, the, the years and the months and the days literally fly by faster than you can ever imagine. I get two years from now is quite a while. I mean, I do understand that, but you know, next year seeing it, you know, whether it be trailers or gameplay, that's not all that far. I think for anybody, one year isn't that bad. And then two years, I don't know where I'm at 25 years old. I feel like two years is going to come very, very quickly, probably too quickly, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure as always, if you haven't already, you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, leave a like definitely would help this video out. If you guys want to support us in any of the other places that we're at, I have a Twitter, I have a second channel. If you guys want to follow and subscribe there, links are in the description along with our Patreon and YouTube memberships. If you guys want to support us there, that's also in the description. Join button is next to the subscribe button. You do get exclusive perks for, for giving us money. It's not like you just give us money for nothing. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope to see you all on the next video.